Hey everyone, so I just woke up from a nap, <laughs> and uh, I gotta tell you this really weird dream that I had. So apparently I was a guy in the first half and a girl in the second half. Don't ask me why, I don't know. So I was at this school, and there was this guy who was bullying me and this other girl, and he came to us, and we ran outside onto this like concrete balcony and on and out if, as you were looking out from the balcony you could see like a trampoline covered with this rubber tarp and then there was like a waterfall and something else and I told the girl I was like you know because I pushed her by accident but I couldn't I couldn't get my eyes open. I had to keep doing this in my dream, like pulling my eyelids, because I couldn't see. It was really weird. So I, when I could see, I'd try to bash the guy with something, but I would miss. And the girl almost fell off, and I she grabbed my leg, and I moved her over to where the trampoline was, and I was like, just fall off, just fall off. And she was like, okay, I trust you. And she, she, she uh, got off my leg, and she fell down and she landed safely but I couldn't get rid of this guy so when I got down because the ledge wasn't that tall but when I got down onto the grass I look around the corner and there's the street like you go down down this way and there'd be a street and so me and the girl we were gonna run and as we were running there was an extra exit door and he came out of the door so we ran back and then we're like, wait a second, he'll come over there too. So we ran back, and he was chasing us. And I picked up this metal pole, and I still couldn't see it. I had to keep pulling on my eyelids, because I couldn't see anything. And I was, like, yelling in my head. I'm like, why can't I see anything? And the guy goes, go ahead, go ahead, try and hit me. And I was like, okay. So I hit him so hard in the head that it bent the pipe. And then a roof like a random roof fell out of nowhere and squashed him so i look at the pole and it's like covered in blood and like hair and skin because i guess i hit him in the head and uh, the blood was like all over me and it was all over the girl and we were like we were just rubbing it on our arms kind of like let's see if i can see yeah we're just rubbing it on our arms anyway but we were rubbing it on our arms and I was like, it's okay, it's okay, we'll just pretend it's a bruise. And then we were running, and then uh, it started to become like this backstory, like, you know, when you got a narrator in your story. And so the guy was like explaining his life of how tragic it was, and we were running into this like fancy hotel where there was like lights on the walkway into the hotel. And... I remember waking up from this dream, and when I did, I looked over at the TV, because the TV was on the whole time I was sleeping, and Paranormal Witnesses was on the TV, and I was like, so apparently the story that was in the TV was in my mind, <laughs> and I had this, like, really creepy-ass dream, yeah, so that's my dream, it was, it scared the crap out of me, it probably doesn't sound that scary, through video, but it was it was pretty damn scary. I I was kind of scared, but anyway. <coughs> okay, that's the end of my dream vlog. Okay, bye.